tutorial on hardwiring IQ Pro from the iPhone directly to HDMI, but also how to split out the audio. Now right here I have my iPhone, it's currently running IQ Pro, we'll stop that show and I want to show you this adapter. Now this is a, an official lightning to HDMI adapter. This will give you lightning out of the phone and it will give you a HDMI port out and also a lightning power in. Very useful if you want to keep your device on charge. I implore you to buy the official lightning adapters. You can see many, many cheap versions of these on Amazon. Please steer clear. They will let you down at the worst time. They may work, they may not, they may work intermittently. Buy the official lightning adapter. It will seem a lot more money, it's well worth it. This goes into the phone, and now currently, if I were to plug in this HDMI cable again that I have here, um, and I'll also put the power in. I've got a lightning power to keep the device on power. And if I hit play, that's going to connect and play this loop that is running from IQ Pro here on my phone. Now, I don't want that though, because I have audio on this that I want to send to the PA system. And to send the audio to the PA system, you're going to need one of these. This is a HDMI audio extractor. Sounds expensive, they're really not. You can get them from as little as £20, maybe up to 50 um, and these are fantastic. This particular model is an Insignia. Um, I got this at Best Buy in the United States. They do stock those. Um, we are going to put a link below this video with various uh, HDMI audio extractors that we have tested. Uh, there's one particularly great model that also has a built-in EDID manager, which allows you to change the screen resolution, so that can help you with various different systems around the world. So again, check the comments below for the different audio extractors. Now, I'm going to take the HDMI from this TV, which in this case would represent our LED wall or our projector, and I'm going to put it into the HDMI out in the back of our audio extractor. Now you can see it's receiving a signal right now because the HDMI audio extractor is like a screen, but there's nothing going in, so that's why we've got this. So we're going to have to plug HDMI from here to here, and to do that, in my case, I would have the phone on stage with me. I would have this phone in a mic clip hanging over the stage or on one of our smart tables, which is another product that we make. And I would have this pointing down at the table because I'm a magician. I would be using the video camera in IQ Pro to display close-up magic. So I'd be using the video camera in the phone's own iPhone to do that. So this would be hanging over the, over the table. So I would take, and I carry with me one of these. This is an optic fiber HDMI cable. Uh, these are great because they're very lightweight. Believe it or not, this is a 10 meter cable. And I'm going to take the HDMI out of our lightning. I'm going to take the other end, which would go off stage to where this will be sat in the wing of the theatre. And I would plug that into the HDMI import. And now, in a moment, we will get our loop. This is running through this little box into the TV. But also on this box, remember it has an audio out. So I have purchased, just for the sake of this video, sparing no expense, a very, very cheap little Bluetooth speaker, which has a mini jack in it. Pop the speaker there. I'm gonna take this mini jack cable, and I'm gonna plug that into the mini jack out on the back of our audio extractor. And now, if I were to hit play here on our device, on our little flick button, you'll see that that will transition and jump across, which is great. So now we are running IQ Pro and the sound is coming out of the little Bluetooth speaker and it's running across via the HDMI audio extractor to the phone which can be on stage. So this now can be also providing a camera for you on stage. If you're a magician, it has obvious benefits. If you're a juggler, there may be a trick you want to highlight. If you're a musician, maybe a pianist, you might want to hold your iPhone on a mic stand over the piano and at the right times you could press the little flick button and the keys would come up on the screen. Uh, and of course, if you're a comedian, want to put your logos on the background. If you're a singer and you want music videos to go along with, um, to go along with your performance, then of course these can all be loaded from IQ Pro. It can be running the backing tracks, the audio, it's doing the crossfades, the mixes. It really is fantastic. And with our new upgrades, you also have now control of it via the Apple Watch, which is amazing because from here I can choose the various cues. And uh, if anything should go wrong in my show. I could press the button here, and this will transition into another queue. Or if I wanted to, I could double click, and that would pause the show. Or, of course, I could double click again, and it would play the show. 
Uh, or I could escape the entire show. And at that point, then, I could either click and play again, or I could choose from my Apple Watch the group that I want to go back into. So I've chosen here to go back into the start, and I could choose from the various groups that are in my show. So that's a little demonstration of how to hardwire the iPhone using HDMI out to the wonderful audio extractor. And that will, of course, give you mini jack out and HDMI out. And all you have to do is explain to the technical staff uh, when you join the ship, you're going to require a DI box backstage and you're going to be giving them a mini jack out. And they will provide you a mini jack to go right into the audio extractor. Same with the HDMI. You can carry a short HDMI cable with you as addition if you like. I probably would, uh, but they will usually have that for you at the venue. So usually you'll only have to carry the HDMI audio extractor and the cable to connect it and the uh, HDMI to lightning and your power on stage and of course your flick button and you are good to go. In this case, rather than plug our HDMI audio extractor into our iPhone as we did in the previous video using the lightning to HDMI converter, we have instead plugged the audio extractor into an Apple TV. This is an Apple TV third generation and above and it does peer-to-peer -peer, um, connection, which means you don't need any Wi-Fi. It will connect the phone directly with the Apple TV with no need for additional Wi-Fi, that's really important. This is a very small unit and you can bring this on stage. Just as in the previous video we explained that you can have an HDMI cable running on stage to your phone, in this case we would recommend bringing the Apple TV on stage so that it is somewhere near the front or somewhere near your performance area so you're keeping as close a connection as possible. But this will mean we can go wireless with everything. So once you've plugged in your Apple TV to your HDMI audio extractor, and then you've taken the audio from the audio extractor into the speaker, the PA system, represented here by this small Bluetooth speaker, and the HDMI out from the audio extractor goes to your screen, in this case this small television, but of course in the real world that would be your projector or LED wall. Again, please refer to the uh, previous video for the full details on this. Now I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to pair it, and the way I do that is to swipe down from the corner, I will see here my HDMI. I have labeled, labeled this Apple TV theater. I've already paired this previously, so I don't need to enter any pins or things which would stop other people from uh, getting into it. And now we are connected. So now I can open up IQ Pro. And now if I stop the show and start it, I am now running this show completely wirelessly, completely wirelessly. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could run this show from many different sources. So in this case, if I wanted to, I could run it from my Apple Watch, and that would allow me to play the various cues. Uh, or, of course, uh, here we are running a loop test. Or, of course, I can run it from the flick control. Or if you see our other videos, you can also connect iPad Pros uh, with uh, other show control devices, like, of course, the fantastic Media Monkey, which we highly recommend. Uh, I've been using mine for years. That is a fantastic product. Uh, and also you can connect it with other show remotes like Perfect Q from DSAM uh, and many other USB show controls. There will be a whole separate video on how to configure the buttons in our latest update for any show control. But in this case here, we have our flick button or my Apple Watch, which will uh, allow me to jump between cues and change other things about this. I press the flick button for now. You'll see it will also bring up the live camera. And now look at that. I have got music coming out of the speaker. I've got the live camera, which I'm completely wireless with, and I can walk around the stage. And there is the Apple TV. <laughs> uh, reflecting funny in the lights there. There's our HDMI audio extractor. And there's our PA system. And here is our flick. And if we long press that, it will escape our show. If I press it again, it will go back to the very beginning. And that is how to connect the iPhone directly via AirPlay with the incredible Apple TV.